Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Here we are again in the minivan. You know me. I always have to do constant change on the rig when I discover something work well or doesn't work well. So today I'm going to show you what I'm about to do with my uh, see all the window covering in the front and it work well except for one area which is in the back of the rear hatch. If you know previously I used uh, paper clip to uh, is it paper clip? It's not paper. It's one of those uh, these things. I don't know what you call these. But they work well on the previous bill, not with this uh, bill. So let me show you why. So this is what I use uh, for rear window cover on the previous bill. But as you can see, my bed is sticking out a little bit and it's not that far. So let me show you what it looked like in the back. So this is what it looked like from the back. So you can see how awkward this is. Almost like a foot and a half sticking out. So when I'm sleeping in this, I will either kick this curtain and it will come down. So I was doing some other way of covering it, temporary, using the one of these. But they look pretty tacky. So today, I'm going to do something with this curtain that will kind of like give me room on the bottom of the bed without kicking it off. And it look a little bit nicer, all right? So right now, I'm going to take that down. I'm going to use, uh, they call it uh, snap on a snap button, the kit. I will put it down in the link down in the description box. Well, I bought this, you know me, I only buy stuff from Amazon. It's convenient and that way everybody can, if they think it's useful, they can go and go there and shop. By the way, I'm not making a dime from Amazon. I don't, I'm not affiliate with Amazon program. So if that is what you like to use, I will put the link down there. For those of you with keen eye, put down in the comments, see what you see is different from the, what I show you before in here. All right. So that. That, by the way, will be my next project. So I'm going to take this curtain down and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with those uh, snap-on buttons. All right. So these uh, snap-on uh, kit come, they are very cheap. They, these are very cheap kit. But the good thing is they give you a hole puncher, which you can punch through the fabric or whatever material you want to put the button in. So this is the... I will show you step by step how to do this, but this is this is the part that will uh, screw into where you want it to be snap on, and this is snap on kit right here with two pieces. So what you do, you punch a hole through the fabric, you lay it in here, fabric on it, and then you put this over here, and you're gonna smash it down with a hammer here. All right. So the tool that I will need is a little bit of a permanent marker, a drill, and a very small bit. You don't want it too big. You want some bit that way smaller than this screw. So that way, it will hold better. All right. And we're using the fabric. So the goal is to put a bunch of those uh, screw across the top here. A little bit on the side and then a little bit on along the bottom part. So it just barely cover the uh, window, the rear window. So I'm going to go mark these uh, with a permanent marker.
So this is the most crucial part of this whole setup. And you can see, even without, if you're going to leave it here, it doesn't look so invasive into the area, you know. Just a little button here and there. Because what we do now is uh, we're going to put the fabric up and then we're going to mark where the hole will be on the fabric. And then we're going to put the snap button onto the fabric and then it will snap into all these little screws around the whole area. And that's how my curtain going to be uh, hang up. You notice I put more of the screw on the top because that's where all the weight going to be. I only put a few on the bottom just to tuck it away out my you know my feet over here where I sleep. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna mark the. Uh, I don't know. I will put it on time lapse. See how I mark these things. You're gonna start out with a couple one, two, three, and then you do more as you go. So after I put the very first one, by the way, that one is in the middle of the window, the rear window. So I'm going to put it up and then the, I'm going to go from there and marking from out, from inward out. So you mark it, once you got first one, then you're gonna mark this one. Then you more move on to this one. It's a time consuming process, but uh, it's gonna have, give you a tight fit. You notice that I always go double them up, so it give uh, some more strain to the top of it. All right, let's, I'm gonna finish the rest and I'll bring you back when it's done, all right? All right, all right. It took me not too long. Once I figure out how to make a hole to put these uh, snap button on by using a hot, uh, you know, one of those uh, soldering iron. Because this is a polyester, so they kind of like nylon. So once you poke it, it will make it actually make it better and stronger using the hot uh, iron, soldering iron. So pretty look pretty clean the reason I like it this way because when see how I have more room over there so if I were to have sleep that way then it won't hang the curtain doesn't hang right over my face at least now I gain a little bit more room back there breathing room actually but preferably I will sleep my head on this side because you know if uh, somebody running rear and you 
it's better to uh, the leg heal better than your head. So, but if I'm in a camera, it doesn't matter. Nobody gonna run rear at me, so I'm gonna sleep this way. And you can see I, I left the the end a little bit, so it's kind of covered. See how it doesn't cover everything? It don't matter. I'm just for privacy and to block out a little bit of light, not all the light, you know. So if I was to sleep in here at night, then I would put the clip on. But during daytime, I would drop it down. Let me show you how it looked like. So I unclip it because that will enable me to open up the the hatch in the back without and the curtain stay on. So let me show you how it works, all right? Okay, let me close this, see if it binds on anything. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. It didn't bind anything. So as you can see, I can leave the curtain on like this. Whenever the camera will open and close the hatch without having to remove the curtain. Let's say if on the move, I'm on the move, I don't have to remove everything. All I have to do is unclip the top part and then uh, I can see through the back. There you go, just enough to see through the back. So I can back up or see the vehicle behind. I can actually drop some more, like this one, these two. And actually, if I have anything in the back, I just cover it up. That way it gives you a little bit more security without people poking in and see what you have in the back. And that's it. That's how I improve my, actually modify my rear window cover. I didn't do any cutting. All I did is add some more snap burn in. And uh, by the way, I will put down the link to the kit that I use. I think it run about 11 or 12, I forgot, but for $12, I still have a lot left. Those buttons are very useful for other stuff too, so more to come on, uh, hold on, yep, see right here? I'm about to do some modification over here. If you, uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you have keen eye, you would have saw what I show you at the beginning, what my plan is for this area here back area over there all right thanks for watching i will catch you on the next video bye for now